So this year I made two New Year's resolutions for the benefit of my long-term well-being. The first was try to avoid sugar uh, wherever possible. And the second was try to avoid alcohol uh, within reason. But today I genuinely have a plausible excuse to break those two resolutions because look what some people in a room have come up with. Kit Kat Sake. I won't lie, the design is pretty eye-catching with the cherry blossoms and the bottle of sake, which actually looks pretty similar to a real bottle of sake. Here's one such example, uh, although this bottle appears to have some missing. Uh, don't know where that went. But unlike a lot of alcoholic flavoured sweets, Kit Kat sake does actually have alcohol in it. 0.8% to be precise. In fact, there's a disclaimer on the box that says, if you're a child or a weak drinker, please refrain from buying this item. I haven't yet heard of anybody getting drunk off of these. Uh, I did think of doing some kind of challenge style video to see if it was possible, until I realized I would probably die of a Kit Kat overdose long before the alcohol had time to kick in. And uh, not even I'm particularly enthusiastic about the prospect of death by Kit Kat. Now to you and I, Kit Kat is a relatively tasty chocolate biscuit made by Nestle, the world's largest food company. Unless you're in America where Kit Kats are made by Hershey's who have a reputation for making the most delicious chocolate in the world, if your taste buds are broken. But to the Japanese, Kit Kats are just so much more than chocolate biscuits because look, on the back here there's a space where you can write a message. And the reason you can write a message on the back is because in Japan, Kit Kats are used as a good luck charm. I'm not even making this up. In fact, Kit Kats in general are an excellent example of how to win at marketing and branding. A few years ago, Nestle noticed surging sales of Kit Kats every January, and it turned out that customers were buying them as good luck presents for students sitting university exams. And that's because the name Kit Kat sounds a bit like the Japanese expression kitokatsu, which means to surely win. And when Nestle heard that students were using it as a good luck charm, not only did they put a space on the back of each box where you can write a message and give it as a gift, but they even worked with the Japan Postal Service to create a full-sized postable version of a Kit Kat. And the end result is a huge number of sales every year when hundreds of thousands of students go to sit their exams. But perhaps even more impressively, Kit Kats have gone on to become a premium confectionery brand here in Japan, with their very own branded boutiques throughout Tokyo, and a huge variety of flavours from green tea to strawberry cheesecake and wasabi. Literally all the flavours of the edible rainbow. I'll make it up as I go. But as a British guy who sees Kit Kats as just another standard chocolate biscuit, in the country that Kit Kats originate from, to see it ingrained in Japanese culture in this way is really quite a bizarre and strange thing to take in. So to any confectionery executives in Europe or America, hurry up and uh, think of something that sounds good when translated into Japanese and you two can take the country by storm. Anyway, now we know the backstory, let's see if they're any good. Uh, inside both boxes we have these small packs and uh, yeah again a nice design and a little space where you can write on the back if you're really stingy and uh, give this as a gift as opposed to an actual size box. Honestly if someone gave me this as a gift I think I'd be offended as opposed to grateful. It's like buying someone a sip of beer. So the chocolate itself is white and uh, the first thing you notice is the smell. Wow. It really does smell like sake, which is difficult to describe, but it's kind of like a sweet, dry white wine kind of smell. That's the closest thing I could think of. If I was to compare this to an actual bottle of sake, yeah, they've nailed it. It, it honestly smells exactly the same, and it tastes, mmm, wow, very good, very, very good. So it starts off tasting like white chocolate, but instead of that sometimes sickly aftertaste you get with white chocolate, it's drowned out by the hint of sake, and it really works. Let's have another one. I have to say, I actually prefer this to the taste of regular Kit Kats. This is strangely addictive. Uh, what would I give it on a scale of one to 10? Um, oh, I need more time to reflect. Um, I'd give it uh, nine out of 10. Honestly, nine out of 10, it's that good. Uh, and it's a genuine tragedy that it's a limited edition thing. If you can get your hands on it, definitely try and get it. I think you can probably find it online somewhere. Um, but it is really good. I highly recommend trying it. Kit Kat Sake. Only thing is one pack is 64 calories and I've had about six packs, which is 
a lot of calories. So I'm gonna have to have a 90 minute brisk walk now to try and burn it off. And I don't feel that well. well I shouldn't have eaten so many so quick. Um, maybe it is a good thing, the limited edition after all.